Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where I have a really important one for you today which I wasn't planning to do being a Sunday but I just got hit by the community love spirit of the family that we have here. It made me it made me smile and I thought hey this, this is the motivation I needed and wanted to bring you this video right here. So here you go you can thank the chart champions family for this one. As we, of course, we're going to be going into the Bitcoin chart. Uh, short, sweet and concise. Let's just go without any more words. So obviously, yeah, Bitcoin right now is falling down, falling down, falling down. <laughs> Since we are back, uh, <laughs> the drop has come back too. That was a nice confluence. But obviously, yeah, we're talking about these short positions that we are in right now on Bitcoin. OK, and where are we looking to close out of these shorts, for example, where, you know, where is this potential reversal sign? And for me, it's it's um, really, 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 really important that you acknowledge a few things here, ladies and gentlemen. Just pay close attention to the words I'm about to give you. In trading, we are aware of different levels on the chart where price can be drawn towards, e.g. when we have these like really big levels of confluence, we're looking at really big support and resistance levels. Price is naturally drawn to these areas of liquidity. OK, but e.g. on the way down, let's say that we have a really, really, really big level. Let's just say it's thirty six thousand dollars. OK, just I'm saying this. OK, but on the way down to thirty six thousand dollars, we obviously have levels on the way down. For example, let's pull this CC, which everybody, many people are aware of from low to high. We would have been aware of this level of support. And so you can see it held you up briefly for a, a day or two before being lost. E.g. there are levels on the chart that we are aware of um, before we get to major levels of support and resistance. And there's a few factors that determine, are we going to long this level of support? Are we going to and try and enter scope shorts around this level of support? Or are we, uh, you know, approaching this as a no trade zone? OK, and if you struggle to answer that question, if you really struggle to know, am I meant to be longing here? Am I meant to be remaining patient waiting for lower or you know what 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 is a uh, what is Daniel doing here for example well <laughs> that's obviously a good thing to know as well most of the time um obviously this is what I've been focusing on really uh over the past you know since I've been since I have been back <laughs> I've been focusing on giving these updates why because um, people need them, period. People need them, people want them, people love them, and that's why I'm doing them again. And obviously I'm referring to like the these openings that you have in the chart when you're reaching these really important big levels of support and resistance, the volatility that comes along with it, aiding people to read the order flow. Okay, obviously I am going to cover what's happening right now and what we're looking for again over the next few days. I just want to bring to your attention here the way that I have traded this and updated the team uh, simultaneously live as it's happening in the time. OK, since it started the drop on that 17th and we saw those massive shorts opening, OK, the whole move down has been, you know, fueled by the, the, the initial move down was fueled by that inc open interest increase uh, with the move down, with the new shorts opening, e.g. the start of the move was bearish. Obviously, we had this initial move to the upside on that decrease, um, you know, with that bearish order flow was not looking bullish at the time in the end, as soon as you lost the OB there and you started to regain that bearish market structure. Uh, this was the time of, of action, so to speak. This was, a, in my opinion, a really difficult short position to get in. But once you had lost that initial support and started to change that market structure, you then started to get those shorts opening coming into the 17th. Well, obviously, you know, it's, it's, there's no looking back. This is the time of action. And, and obviously shorts at that time really were in control. Obviously, we started to move down within those one minute channels, offering many short positions, no longs. And it was just a case of remaining patient, remaining calm, remaining collected. Like I'm telling, you know, like I wrote on this tweet here. Um, yes, we had levels of support on the way down, e.g. 41,400, e.g. the CC. And it was a simple case of recognizing, as I, as I kind of wrote, as this guy said, another one for the journal books, this was a post that I wrote here, um, that right now, this was obviously on the 18th, so two days ago, we were at the CC of the latest move down. So from this low to this high, this low to this high, e.g. we had hit that CC. And I'm, I'm explaining to my team because a new trader here is going to be like, hey, this is, this is a good long, we're at support. Hey, you know, I might want a long here. Um, I uh, really simply tell my team, hey, this is the problem. We are at this support level, yes. But the confluence is very low. As a trader, I'm always searching for confluence. I only want to take the highest probability trades. One level, two levels of confluence is not enough for me. I need to see more. Why? Because I only want to take the best trades. 
Yeah, you understand this. One level of confluence is a gamble. This is a 50-50. I'm looking for higher confluence, higher probabilities, more wins, less losses. Okay. Personally, I would prefer to miss that long. So if we had have bounced from this level and got a reversal, I would have happily missed that long position. Why? Because I believe the probabilities are going lower. So why would I want to long if I believe that we're going to go lower? OK, I'd prefer to miss out that long period. OK, I'd prefer to miss the long on, and not move, you know, not long this absolute low until we either see a sign of strength or I will just happily remain in my short and chill for lower. Short and chill, ladies and gentlemen waiting for the sign of strength or lower. Okay, what are we on about when we're talking about the sign of strength? We'll come down here on a lower term time frame. Look at what we've been seeing during the whole of this drop to the downside. It is signified really simply by a lower highs and lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs. And this is obviously now our new latest lower low. We had not seen any sign of strength, which was reclaiming the resistance of support. We had not seen any sign of strength, even of a simple market structure. We had not seen any bullish order flow coming in here. It's just a case of remaining calm, collected and patient. It's 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 really, really, really is. And then obviously, <laughs> it's a game changer being able to, you know, follow my update live in the time of, of how I'm reading that order flow. OK, how I'm reading it, what I'm going by. And then really simply just... You know, explain that really simply now. Okay, so my, my thought process is the same right now as it has been over the last few days. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are so eager to long this, I really have to question your motives. Why? Why, 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 why are you so eager to long this when we are in an absolutely strong downtrend on the on the law, the large and medium term? We are in downtrend since $69,000. Downtrend on every time frame. The order flow is, is, is bearish. You still get people screaming every day, buy the dip, buy the dip, buy the dip, buy the dip you know the hopium is still really strong um so i i i question rhetorically what is your motive here to long so hard okay why why are you so drawn to longing this when i think i can show you and and the, the chart can show you that this is bearish at the moment okay it's so like i was writing in one of my updates here like no trade at the end of the day, no trade is better than taking a long and losing money. Why? Because you want to preserve your capital for the next opportunity. The best trade is always ahead of you. So you have to have capital to seize that opportunity you now. So if you are continuously longing and longing and longing and buying the dip and buying the dip and buying the dip and longing and getting stopped out and getting stopped out and getting stopped out, this is a complete waste of money. You would be much better <laughs> being patient, waiting for the sign of strength or waiting for lower. OK, period. And why are you waiting for one of those two things? Well, the sign of strength shows you that the at least you're actually you know, simple as that, a sign of strength. At least you're buying with some strength rather than buying the weakness on a dip, which just keeps on dipping. Um, or alternatively, you're waiting for lower. Why? Because you're waiting for a really high probability trade. Yeah. Remembering all of this move to the downside has not had that high probability trade outcome. Yeah, there have been levels of support on the way down, but none of them I've classed personally as a high probability. OK, we know our areas of high probability. We know our strongest levels on the chart. We've got to remain patient, waiting for those lower prices or this sign of strength, which makes us acknowledge, hey, maybe now price is not going to go down any lower because of that strength. And now I can get involved higher up on the chart. Yes, I won't long the absolute low. I'm not interested in that. I don't want that. I want a long with the sign of strength or I want to wait lower for my highest probability trades. And it's as simple as that, ladies and gentlemen. It can be as simple as that if you let it be. It can be as simple as that if you let it be. Um, it's just that most people <laughs> most people don't have the patience. So most people keep getting stopped out, unfortunately. Um, so, yeah, that was the well, let me just think if there is anything else I wanted to cover here really quickly. It was kind of really quickly. Uh, oh, wow, 10 minutes. I'm, I'm, I thought this video was going to last like five minutes. But nevertheless, I wanted to focus I wanted to focus and bring your attention to thinking in probabilities. OK, so think in terms of probabilities. Why are you looking to where are you looking to long and where are you looking to short? Why are you looking to long and why are you looking to short there? OK, these are questions you've got to be asking yourself. What is your sign of strength? What would be your highest probability zone of trading? Again, if you struggle for any of these answers, <laughs> I'm giving them at the moment. Um, so there's not even that excuse <laughs> that you don't know it uh, because you could learn it. You could learn it. And what was? And, and I want to end actually with with a quote here, and that is, you you either you either win or you learn. There's no such thing as losing. Yeah, if you have the right mindset and you approach this correctly, you win or you learn. 
Yeah. If you have been longing this and you have been losing, well, I really hope that you're learning from this experience. Okay. It's like Michael. It's it's like the the um. Uh, the Arthur and Bane quote from Batman, and uh, you know they're in the lift, and he's and uh, Arthur says, "Why are we falling? Uh, to get back up." <laughs> it, it's, it's basically like everybody's gonna take these downturns, everybody's gonna get hurt, everybody's gonna you know go go down in life, but you, you go down to get back up stronger. You learn from those experiences. You don't repeat them. Yeah, that's the that's the, the thing here. If you are lo losing, you got to be learning from those experiences, I really hope you are anyway. And again, if you struggle with that, then you can look to myself, many of the coaches, you know, we're all here to offer guidance, uh, share our experiences, and all that good stuff with you, of course, learning each step of the way. Um, yeah, and then obviously, I wanted to end with also a really nice, with, with a really nice uh, outlook here. And that was the comment that the comment that made me do this video. And that was from obviously the chart champions found that we have here. This was out from Mexico, the fam coming together to watch, uh, to watch the live streams. And then this one today that just made me smile, 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 smile. Um, that's why it's called chart champions family. Honestly, it felt like we were family just goes to show what a great community this is. Oh, and then this is an edit, which I haven't read yet, which I, which I attribute to Daniel, his leadership and heart and the incredible chart champions team. I mean, wow. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's powerful. It's lovely getting together and showing our love of dad coaches, community at large, hopes and dreams for the future and supporting one another on that journey. Walk away glowing and cannot stop smiling. Fuel to come home and work even harder every time. Love you all dearly. Ah, uh, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. And this was obviously from the people now would like, forming their own friendship friendship groups doing uh meetups within other other members that they've met uh the queens over there with their meetup yesterday oh man it it, it it is lovely and honestly you watching this you're my motivation you're the reason why i get up and do this every day so um yeah <laughs> I, all I ask for in this video, you don't have to do anything. If you're feeling kind, you can drop a nice comment down below. I will be sure to read every single comment, uh, as I always do. I always read all the comments. I love reading the comments. Uh, I love the happiness. I love the community. I love the family that we've created. And to see like the friendships being formed, oh, it's it's. Well, it's like the comments said, it's like a family. And that's why I'm more than happy to be here, improving myself, improving the community, improving the services that we offer because you deserve it it's as, it's as simple as that you deserve it and i want to see you do well and i mean that from the bottom of my heart um so i truly help i truly hope that you are noticing the differences that i'm actively doing over the past over the past week since i've been back really trying my hardest to focus um Lead it, be a bit more serious in the chat, giving really helpful and useful updates. And um, then even in simple updates like this for the public, just a free public update, I'm still trying to offer some value and guidance here of things that you can be looking towards, little tips and tricks. Um, you know, so whether you're a whether you're a paid member, whether you're in the group and, and following the guidance, or whether you're just watching these videos, hoping to one day be able to afford the fee. Um you know, I respect and love you all. Um, you know, it's it's the education, it's the learning, it's the process, it's the uh, it's the family feeling. Uh, so yeah, I really hope this video has been helpful for you. I hope it's given you some insights of why I'm sure what I'm looking for, um, because that's that's the main thing. That's if you can if you can start to get into my brain, it's irrelevant whether you win or lose the next trade. If you can start to understand the process that we're going through on every single trade, and just imagine where you're going to be in one, two, three, five, ten years. Yeah. That's what you need to be thinking of the future, what's possible, what's to come. And think of it like this. This is only the beginning. And when you acknowledge and realize that, well, you should have a really big smile on your heart right now. <laughs> because the opportunities in this market are outstandingly big. And it's only just beginning. Um, so, yeah, I suppose I'll end with if you want to see more from me. Obviously, I got the Champions live stream tonight. That's obviously just for the champion members. I will be starting that stream uh, 7.30, so in, in about five hours' time. Um, I got that live stream for you tonight. Obviously, these are the updates within the Champions Group as well that I do throughout the day. we got lots of updates, lots of content, hundreds and hundreds and hours of educational material. Uh, if you want that, then you can have it. <laughs> it's as simple as that. I'll probably do another update for the public uh, Monday or Tuesday. I hope you've enjoyed this one. Uh, I truly hope it's helped, and I'm going to sign off and just say thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All the support, it means it means the world to me. It really does. Um, so yeah, 
end of course with the disclaimer as always no financial advice just here for the education and, and assist you in that regard so thank you ever so much everybody have a brilliant 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 rest of your day and enjoy the week to come full of opportunities on bitcoin and the alts thank you and goodbye cheers